No, this intro is going to be with me, no makeup on, in my truest form. Just kidding, this is not my truest form. This is like zoomed in so close. I'm just gonna back up. I have to do it from here. So I am sick as a dog right now, and I took the day off, and um, I'm just sitting on my couch thinking like, I'm home, it's nice and bright out. I, you know, should try and like film something. And it like came to me that I should probably do a tutorial on how to not look like absolute shit when you're sick type of thing. Yeah, so that is what I'll be doing today. I'll be trying and transforming myself into something that looks a lot less sick. Yeah, I will probably be glowy AF after this and um, that's fine with me because I'm not gonna look sick. So we're just gonna jump right into this. Um, got my handy dandy soy chai tea latte here to help me. Because what kind of YouTube video doesn't have someone drinking Starbucks coffee in it? A shitty one. So, you know, got that one down pat. And literally, I would love to do a voiceover because I just want to be listening to fucking Alex Vargas all day long. But I need to talk. But like, can we just talk about this song for a minute? I get like all types of feelings from this song. So, you know, just current obsessively, currently except, ex currently obsessing over Alex Vargas and I want to marry him. I'm gonna clean my face with the Fresh Rose Floral Toner. This is by the company Fresh. I don't know why. Can you tell how sick I am? I'm ridiculous. Anyways, I'm gonna take this toner and I'm gonna spritz my little cotton pad and I'm just gonna clean my face. But since this is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me, I guess I should kind of dive into a little bit more as to what the fuck is happening. Let's just say I've had gaps in YouTube for various reasons, whether it be trips or whether it be the fact that I was in a really like sad place in my life. I'm gonna use, while I'm doing my little rant here, I'm gonna go and put this time in a bottle on my face like I always do. I got some sun today, so I want to make sure, you know, that uh, my, like, freckles aren't gonna go crazy. Okay, so putting this on. So basically, I've had gaps because I've had some rough spots the last months of my relationship have not been the greatest. Going in with my, where is this, my Origins um, A Perfect World lotion, and, um, so that explains my gaps. Well, my most recent gap was because I was out of the country. I had a pretty rough breakup, I guess you could say. It was like the hardest thing that I've ever had to deal with so far in my life. And I know that sounds so stupid and cliche, but to someone like me, where relationships are like the most important thing in my life, I can handle anything that comes at me like no problem like I will figure it out but when it comes to relationships I just kind of am very like sensitive I'm gonna use the Bosha oil as always um so basically had a really awful breakup and um that it's been take it's been three months since the breakup so I've had a lot of gaps in the last three months with YouTube um and filming and um I'm just really at this point trying to get myself to a place. I mean, can you tell this is not scripted? Um, I'm using the under eye cream by Dr. Andrew Whale for Origins. Um, yeah, so basically I'm just trying to get back to myself, try to grow, try to um, get over it and get, you know, just be myself again and find the time to do all the things that I want to do, which I have a lot more freedom now, but it's hard to get yourself to want to do all the things that you want to do after being in a really, really, really low place. And him and I are on pretty good terms, so it's not like I just am mad and sad and depressed. I think it's more of getting back to just being who I am because I was 
a very different individual for a while and I like evolved into being in a relationship versus knowing what it's like to be on my own. So that that's that explains the gaps. Um, I'm trying to get back into more of a routine. So that was just a little excerpt into why I suck. Um, but I'm a lot better. I'm a lot happier. I'm a lot more inspired. Like I'm growing in a certain way. I'm making all these changes and making all these plans to do all these things. So I'm working on it. It's not like I'm just sitting here and being sad for myself because I'm not because the breakup was the best thing that could have happened to me. So yeah, that rant is over. So now that all of my face products are down, which is the same thing that I do every single time that I do my makeup, I'm gonna go in and use a hydrating primer. I wanna make sure that my skin is hydrated, so I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. I'm just gonna dab this on my face. And just get, and I don't know why I said dab, because I don't ever dab this, but I'm just gonna put this on a little dab on my face. So the point of this is to not look sick. I want a dewy foundation, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm gonna take my my cover effects oil free foundation this is a natural finish so I'm gonna take a dab of this on my hand right here and I'm gonna mix this with um, my Becca primer this is the illuminating primer this is the backlight primer and I'm gonna kind of mix these two this makes um, the foundation a lot more dewy so I'm just gonna dot this everywhere. And I think for when you're sick, I wouldn't say don't go for something that's extremely like cakey. I would say try to go as natural as possible just to kind of make your skin look really natural, really glowy, really dewy, really healthy. And that's going to um, kind of make you look less sick. And I feel when I mix these two products together, like it, this has enough coverage to make my skin really unison and beautiful and glowy. But mixing that primer in really makes it look really healthy and really natural. If you feel this is not enough coverage, obviously you can go ahead and do a second layer of this. I'm just going to go pretty ham on concealer, I think, to brighten the areas where I might look a little bit darker because I have the plague. Just kidding. I don't have the plague. And see how just like radiant it looks? Obviously, I'm gonna set it. I'm just gonna take a lot of that shine away, but it's still gonna peep through and just look really nice and dewy, which is how you look less sick. So for concealer, I'm going to take two concealers. So I'm gonna take one that is my skin tone, which is, this is the MAC Studio Finish, and I'm just gonna dab this right underneath my eyes just to make sure that I have a ton of coverage underneath my eyes. You need to, you know, hide those dark circles so that you look a little bit more alive than you might actually be. And I'm just gonna blend this out ever so slightly and quickly. And then taking a much brighter concealer, this is the Naked Skin Concealer. This is in the shade Fair Neutral. I'm gonna put this on all the points that I want to highlight, which is obviously underneath, on my chin, and on my forehead. See, I like cannot speak properly today. And then obviously just blend this out once again. Oh my God, look how much like healthier we look. To make my eyes even brighter and less sicky looking, I'm gonna set it with the Secret Brightening Powder for Under Eyes by Laura Mercier and just taking this Kat Von D brush, using that fluffy end, I'm just gonna take the product and set the underneath of my eyes. And this is, see, this is really awesome, especially for days where you don't, you know, like you haven't had enough rest. It really, really makes your under eyes just look like bright and awake as long as you're not looking, but on like the side and you can like see the puffiness, you know. That's okay, that's eventually gonna go away. And for the rest of my face, I'm gonna set it with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I really hate using anything that has color um, like to set my face because I personally think that makes your makeup look way more cakey. So if you're going for a very full coverage, very cakey look, feel free to set your face 
with anything that has coverage. Continuing on since the face is set and I just want to look a little bronzy. I'm gonna take the Bare Minerals Bronzer. This is Bare Minerals All Over Face Color in Warmth. And this thing like goes everywhere so I really wanna be gentle. I don't wanna look like a clown. So I'm gonna dip this same brush just the other end ever so lightly look at how much product this picked up like holy shit i don't need that much and i just barely like dabbed it in there the thing really just goes everywhere so i'm just gonna blow a lot of it off and just dab some on each side oh my god and right here guess i'm gonna start on the forehead I'm just gonna try and work this product in as much as possible and that look cray cray I just really enjoy the way that Bare Minerals like blends into your face. It's quite nice. Yeah, I ended up taking a sick day today because I feel like death and I went to the beach to try and, you know, like get some fresh air, kind of walk around. And I feel so much better. Not that I looked better, but feel so much better. Got a little bit of sun. Got some more freckles because what is life? I live in Florida and I try to go out a little bit early which, you know, my early is like nine o'clock and there's already a ton of people there. Like, can y'all not come out this early? Like, thanks. Obviously you wanna make your neck look tan too. But yeah, I'm trying to get to like the best place in my life as possible. Um, I just recently started, and by recently I mean today, I've been meaning to like over the weekend I bought a journal because a lot of people say that getting, you know, your thoughts out really helps with the coping process, which I'm in a really good place to begin with, but I think any kind of step that I can take in that direction will help me. Um, so I started journaling and I think that'll be really great when I travel again to really journal like what I do, what I see, how I feel, how I am evolving in that sort of way. But yeah, so I went to the beach and I kind of started my first journal entry and just felt kind of good to get some thoughts out that I really haven't shared with anyone. And um, I feel a lot better after doing that. And I feel more free or more open and just a lot better in general. So I really like that and I read a little bit, which I'm trying to get into reading again. Yeah, it's been a wonderful journey of finding, you know, myself out and really, I am, on the road to recovery. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm fine. For eyebrows, I'm just gonna go in and use my Duo Powder and my, oh, and my Anastasia brush. I got my eyebrows done fairly recently, so I don't need much work on them, but I just need to fill in the sparse areas that just dyeing your eyebrows are not gonna fix. So taking the darker shade and then taking the lighter shade, I just kind of fluff out the front. You know what really sucks is saving money and not being able to buy new makeup. There's so much new makeup and I don't think I've ever had so much pain sitting here knowing that I can't spend money and buy all those things. Like I literally, like inside I'm crying. Lord have mercy. And then I'm just using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to set the eyebrows so that they stay in place. I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy with my eyes. All I want to do is put a little bit of shimmer on the eye. It's kind of gonna open up the eye and make you look a little bit healthier. So this is the Naked Cosmetics um, Desert Sunset Color and this is a loose pigment. So I'm just gonna take whatever is and I like it's already all over my fingers. <laughs> I'm just gonna take what is in this part right here. Okay so I'm just gonna take my MAC um, 242 and it is a, it's not a shader brush. I don't know what this is called, but this is my MAC 242 and I'm dipping this in here and just depositing this all over the lid. And then we're gonna take a little lighter color that's not glittery and we're just kind of gonna do like a transition color so that it's not just like speckles and then nothing else. But yeah, having shimmers on your eyes makes them more open, more awake, more wide and you look like you're not dying. And picking a color that makes your eyes pop is also good because then people are not looking at your under eyes, they're looking at your shimmery eyes. Yep. So for a transition color, I'm gonna go in with this right here, which this is a Makeup Geek shadow called the Tuscan Sun. I'm just gonna take that on a fluffy brush, that being the MAC 224. And I'm just gonna take that and I'm just gonna take a little mirror and I'm just gonna put this in my crease and just blend it out.
This also just gonna give you a tiny bit more dimension for your eye and that's not make the sparkle look crazy. This Tuscan color be pigmented. I'm just gonna go back in with this little shader brush because I see that I missed the spot. And I'm gonna smoke out that lower lamp, that upper lash line. I'm gonna take a smudger brush. This is the Sigma E21 and I'm gonna go in with MAC handwritten color. This is a brownie color. And I'm just gonna put this very, very close to my upper eyelash line. Just kind of want to make it a little bit thicker. Don't go overboard, just a little bit thicker. Cause I don't want to do winged liner or anything like that. And for the lower lash line, you want to put a light colored eyeliner to open up the eye a little bit even, a little bit even more. I'm gonna use the Mac NC15. Hmm, so good. For mascara, I ain't gotta do the lower lash line. So for the lower lash line, I'm just go, gonna go in with um, a little liner brush and that Tuscan Sun color. I'm just gonna run it right underneath my eye and not smudge this out. And for mascara, I'm gonna use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara because this is my favorite and it gives a very like fluffy eyelash look um so it doesn't like clump which i really like that also really opens up the eye and it's not extremely dark the mascara so it doesn't like close in the eye like look at this why am i struggling today oh wait because i'm sick and now all you need to do is highlight your inner corner highlight your inner corner and i'm gonna take this little shader um, E46 by Sigma and I don't want to go stark white so I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Geek um, Rapunzel little shadow. I'm gonna put this in the corner and also underneath the brows and now the eyes are done. Um, should I put blush? Oh I'm about to highlight the ish out of my face. So to be very highlighty I'm gonna take my Lancome Click and Glow and I'm just gonna get some on here. Just gonna dab it. In all the places that I want it. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just blend it in. And it gives a very nice and subtle glow. And for lips, I'm gonna go in with a lip gloss. I'm gonna go with the Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy. Getting mascara everywhere. Oh my God, I got mascara all over this. Ah! And now that I have the lip gloss down, I'm gonna go and spray my face um, with some Urban Decay. Like I don't even need to say what the name of this is. And this is the completed look. So I look like I am not dying as much. I just look really fresh and dewy and glowy and I don't look as sick, which is what we were trying to achieve. I also don't look like I just roll out of bed. Ooh, my lips are on fire. And that is the way to convince people that you're not dying. So I really hope that you did enjoy this video and that you could take some tips from this and really go on and present yourself in a way that you want. And also just having a little bit of makeup makes you feel a little bit better than you actually do. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time, bye.